information and communications technology is widely recognized as essential for countries to move towards a knowledge-based digital economy. Generally speaking, there is a strong correlation between income and ICT levels. Developed countries tend to have a higher rate of penetration for ICT services uh, compared to developing countries. And this gap between the rich and the poor countries uh, is referred to as the digital divide. Uh, for example, in 2011, uh, only 2.1% of households in Kenya were connected to broadband internet uh, compared with more than 98% of households in South Korea. The main reasons behind the digital divide have been uh, the unaffordability of ICT services and the lack of infrastructure in developing countries. Uh, according to the International Telecommunication Union, the ITU, uh, average ICT services prices in developed countries correspond to no more than 1.5% of the average monthly income uh, compared with 17% uh, in developing countries. And in the case of many low-income countries, average prices for ICT services can be uh, several times higher than their monthly disposable income. The deployment of wireless technologies such as WiMAX and long-term evolution have helped countries to bridge the infrastructure gap and leapfrog technologically. Uh, so as a result, the gap in penetration rates uh, between developing, and developing countries and developed countries are narrowing. Uh, so the nature of the digital divide is now evolving to focus less on penetration rates and more on uh, the speed of connection and quality of services. Uh, in its latest report, Measuring the Information Society, the ITU noted that the basic minimum speed for a broadband connection uh, might be efficient for emails and most basic services, but it is inadequate for uh, graphics reach, data intensive applications and services. The differences in quality between mobile and fixed broadband services, a mobile broadband subscription uh, normally uh, is slower than fixed broadband subscription and also often include data caps. So as a result, this is a challenge for countries where mobile is the only broadband access technology available to, uh, to the end users. And this is the case for many developing countries. And finally, uh, factors behind the digital divide are also changing. Uh, it's evolving from primarily um, infrastructure and prices uh, to now include other factors such as age, income, gender and the rural or urban location of the user.